Kitchen. So today we are going to be giving Patch a little underwater theme, which I'm really, really excited about. We are going to be cleaning out his cage together and then we are going to put all of the new goodies inside of his cage. Description, I always leave um, what cages my hamsters are in. So if you don't know which cage that um, Patch is in at the moment, he is in an acrylic terrarium, which I had gotten off of eBay. It's basically around the size of a 40 gallon tank. I'm not really sure on the dimensions at the moment. I have it written down somewhere. I'll really help you sort of visualize the size of the cage that he is in. <laughs> I just saw Mochi. She's up and maybe it's because I'm like talking really loud in this room, but I just saw her come around the corner. Now I've had this cage since January, I believe. I think around end of January. I think I think that's when it was. Still looking beautiful as ever, just like when I got it. It's like brand new out of the box and it's just been an amazing cage and I'm loving it. And a water theme that I really wanted to do for him, It's I don't think it's gonna be like anything, you know, over the top. I do have some things that I had gathered and a few things that friends had sent me and I'm just gonna try and make it work. I'm gonna go out and buy like little figurines and things like that just because I'm really scared um, they would start chewing on it or something like that. So I'm not gonna be adding any cute little thingies. I don't know what to call them. Well, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started and hope for the best that it will turn out somewhat okay. So yes, I got my hair cut. I did my hair again. I actually got it redone at the salon because I actually had a ring around my head that was my natural color that I totally had missed. So apparently I did not do a good job when I tried to dye my hair pink myself. I had like two people working on my hair and they did such an amazing job. I decided to go ahead and chop it off. I think I chopped off about maybe like this much. It wasn't like super long. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on my hair since it looks different. Once again, wanna say hi? My daughter, you guys, say hi. Hi. I don't have a flip screen, so I don't know if you guys can even see her. Anyway, I'm really, really excited for Patch to get a whole new little layout and new toys. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so I got my trash. I got my trash can right here, and then I got my bin here where I'm gonna throw in all the dirty toys so I can clean them later. Just going to start by getting everything out of the cage. It looks like he liked to sleep under the bridge, the wooden bridge that I had there. Good morning. I know. We're gonna be cleaning your cage. Yes, we are. looking amazing you guys. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of his old bedding though in here too. So his scent is still kind of there but I kind of want to bury it because <laughs> the blue is just gorgeous. I love it.
and put these adorable little gel clings on um, that the lovely Courtney sent me. I think they're super cute and just make the cage look adorable. This is what it looks like when we open it. Patch is really, really loving his little house right now, which is so sweet. And he's really liking the toys that Courtney sent as well. So thank you again for making little Patch happy. It's now a little bit too far down. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit for him. That's just what this side kind of looks like. I used this little dish over here. I didn't put anything in it, but it looks like a fish or a whale. So I thought it would look cute. We got a blue Petco pencil chew. That is Whimsy Chew. Little tropical fiddlesticks right here. And I went ahead and put the Woden wheel in for now. I actually have a different kind of wheel coming in here so I'm gonna make a video on that when it does arrive and I'll show you guys which one I went ahead and got. I'm gonna weigh on his little cheesy chew right now because he's such a cutie pie. On this little seashell dish at the this and that store. Um, really really neat store and some cheap things in there. We got just a little sisal string ball as well. We got a tunnel in the back. I went ahead and hung this little floral thing from the top of the cage. I know it's not like sea related, but I thought the colors would go nicely together. Hello, Patch. Silly. You shitty. have Hoppy Hammy's little fish dish that she sent me. This is the dish that I loved so very much. It is perfect for this theme, so I had to put it in. Um, we just got a little wooden chew barrel. Here I got his sand bath with a couple of seashells in it. These are I actually got at the Hermit Crab section, and I thought they would just look really, really cute in the sand dish. I mean, I'm gonna keep an eye, but I don't think he's gonna be able to chew those anyway because they are like seashells and hard as rock. And then I just used the Little Blue Living World Dome, I believe, yes, that's what it's called. Um, I just thought it was super cute and it's the perfect size for him. Um, so yeah, that is basically it, you guys. A little overview. And also, a lot of you guys were wondering, like, where's the ventilation, Pam? It's right up here. This is what it looks like. Um, so there is a ton of air going through. I made a really big mess, so I'm gonna probably clean that up here in a minute. And then here's all the dirty things that I'm gonna have to go and clean and sanitize. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you like his theme. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, my gosh, these gel clings are just so super cute. Talk to you guys down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.